Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? I can hear you. I don't know. Really? Can the rest of you hear me? Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Heidi. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, awesome. So I think that Walter is having troubles with the Yeah, audio. good evening, teacher. Good I evening. Fix my trouble. Oh, yeah. nice. Yes. Cool. Why are you, teacher? Hi. How you been doing today? Excellent. Awesome. And um, well, today I sent uh, a link. I don't know if you had the chance to check it. It's a YouTube channel that it gives like pronunciation tips, uh, tips for interview, and most of them are related to the contact center industry. Can okay. you check that one or no? Nobody check that link? Yes, teacher. Okay, I hope that it can help you. And also I sent uh, some idioms with food topics. Now, I see that you've been working in the platform, which is really nice. Um, before we start the class, do you have any um, exercise that you'd like to discuss before we start or everything is okay so we can continue with just our day's topic? Everything is okay? Everything okay, teacher. Today I saw my request, it's correct request and document, personal document, uh, support to support and and I report about the certificate the round in the date. Oh, okay. Did you get an answer? Not yet, teacher. Okay, so. Mm. Good evening. Good evening. Mm -hmm. Try to insist tomorrow, and if you don't get any answer, you can uh, reach Miss Elena, so maybe she can help you. Okay. But yes, it is important that you keep track on that. Okay, so we have uh, here some vocabulary as we've been talking about food preferences and expressing agreement. We have some vocabulary here to discuss to practice with you. So let us repeat. Bread. 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 Chicken. 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 Corn. 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 Fish. 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 Grapes. 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 Land. 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 Mangoes. 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 Octopus. 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 Pasta. 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 Yes. Potatoes. 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 Rice. 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 Shrimp. Shrimp. Strawberry. 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 Turkey. Turkey. Okay. Any new vocabulary here? Uh, peas. Yes. What is oh, the name? Shrimp. Los peas. Estos son guisantes. Oh. Guisantes. Son como esas cositas verdes. Okay. Eh, ah, la banda. ¿Cómo le dicen acá? Las. Peticua, teacher. Eso, eso, eso está el espeticua. <ríe> Esos know. son los guisantes. Los pis son unas chibolitas verdes. What? <ríe> What? <ríe> no la. No. Delicious. Sí, son bien I've ricos en arroz. <ríe> ¿Cómo no? Sí. <ríe> Delicious. Yeah, they're delicious. Uh, garbanzo. No. Garbanzo no, también. No, son como vienen en una vainita y son unas chibolitas verdes. 
Ajá, oh. y que esos son petit pois, que petit también son ricos. Oh, my God. Is it new for me? Really? <laughs> okay, so, um, any other? Okay, we say peas son los guisantes. Lamb. Cream. Lamb. Okay, lamb is este cordero. Oh. Y shrimp. Camarones. Camarones. Ah, okay. Octopus. Pulpo. Pulpo. Shrimp es pulpo. Yes. Teacher. Oh. No, 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 no. Octopus. Pero no, no, pero eh, no es el calamar. No, octopus es pulpo. El calamar es squid. ¿Qué es otro. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ah. Sí. Delicious. Ahí les mandé la foto de los pies, que estoy ah. segura que tienen que haberlo visto. Peticua, ¿cómo es? Peticua. Peticua. Tienen otro nombre, pero no es así. Yo me recuerdo otro nombre. Pero ya vio cuáles son, ¿verdad? Sí. sí. Uh -huh. Albergas. Al, like alberga. Alberjas. 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 ¿Ya? Ajá. Al, al, sí. Bueno, no. Albergas. Albergas o albergas. Pero no. Okay. Like this. No, ¿qué? Okay. <ríe> yes, Ahí ajá. Está. Pero sí, son, son esas cositas. En arroz son okay. muy Albergas. buenas. Ajá, y más sofisticado. No albergas, Walter. Peticua. <ríe> peticua. La, la palabra impactante, el peticua. Sí, yo no sabía Sounds tampoco. French. Es like, uh, sí, ya, uh, yeah, <ríe> it's like a French word, the peticua. Eh, eh, ahorita <ríe> les iba a escribir el calamar. <ríe> es, es... Ay, según yo estaba escribiendo y se me pasó la pantalla. Ok, ese es el calamar, squid. And the other that we have here, octopus es el pulpo. Have you tried that? Squid. Have you tried octopus? Octopus oh, and shrimp? Yeah. Yeah. Did you like it? Um, yeah. It, there are a, a small... Octopus. Ah, like babies. <laughs> yeah. It's better than Kuzuko. Oh, yeah. I totally agree. <laughs> I, I have never tried that, but I, I, I think I would never try <laughs> But yeah, anything can Teacher. be better than that. Yes? Shrimp. Camarón. Ah, camarón. Yes, camarón. Okay, so um, we need to complete this chart. Este era más bien como un ejercicio por si imprimen el material, eh, pueden eh, completar el chart y agregar uno más, a, una palabra más a cada categoría. Por ejemplo, aquí en meat, ¿qué pondríamos? Pondríamos chicken, chicken, chicken. fish, fish. Okay. Chicken. lamb, lamb. Podemos agregar una más que no esté en la lista. Pork. Pork. Ajá. Pork. Rabbit. Rabbit, ya. No, rabbit, no. Iguana. ¿Por qué no agregan iguana o algo así? <laughs> Iguana con huevos en el goisty. Is it raccoon? <laughs> raccoon? Mapache? Raccoon? Bacoon. Raccoon. Bacoon. No. Bacoon. Bacoon o pacoon? Raccoon. Así como se oye. Raccoon. Yeah, mapache. Ahorita se los escribe. ¿Qué hicieron un taco así? Kuzuko. Okay. Uh, now for ah, pero seafood, I eat a fish. Yeah. Octopus. Octopus. Shrimp. 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 Octopus. 
stream. Wait. Right. Right. ¿Cómo se dice, teacher? Okay, raccoon. That raccoon. is uh, mapache. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. That's mapache. Teacher, how do you say langosta? Lobster, teacher? Lobster, yes. Alita se los escribo aquí. Lobster. Ah, you can add love story here in seafood. An expensive food. Love story. Uh huh. Okay. So. It, it's rich, teacher. Very good. Very full. Right. The lobster? Yes. Delicious. Ah, with garlic and butter. With a, with a beer. Oh, <laughs> my God. Wait, well, almost Friday. <laughs> on, on Friday. The, on, the, on the beach. <laughs> Some uh, mood vacation. Uh, yeah, you're on vacation mode on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Now we have this conversation. It says ordering a meal. Uh, we have one here in the platform. Let's listen to that one and then we're going to practice pronunciation. Let me share my screen. Teacher. Yes? Este, ¿verdad que el, el curso que sigue después de este es. Um, Pre avanzado uno. No, intermediate. Ah, intermedio. Este intermedio. es el tres, intermedio tres. Pre. ¿Cuál sí? Pre intermedio. Pre intermedio. Uh -huh. O sea, ahorita usted está en el pre intermedio tres. Este Pasamos es el. Ajá. Pasan a intermedio uno. Okay. Ah, ok. okay. Gracias, teacher. Ok, o sea que ahorita es como preparándose para el intermedio. Por eso esto se llaman pre, preintermedio 1, preintermedio 2. Tenía esa duda y no contesté ese pedacito. Cambia Todavía. <ríe> ah, sí, tienen que ir a intermedio 1. ¿Sí? Ah, ok. Sam. Cambia totalmente el programa en intermedios. O cuando usted sube avanzado completamente, o es otra temática. Es el, las temas van siendo un poco más avanzados. Siempre es como lo mismo que estamos viendo, pero ya metiendo temitas nuevos, ¿verdad? Siempre hay como un repaso. Eh, por ejemplo, puede que vuelvan a ver este que estaba viendo. Adjectives, comparatives, superlatives. Y luego vean un tema como pasado simple, un, como un repaso de los diferentes tiempos y ya van viendo voz pasiva y, y van metiendo temas nuevos, pero siempre hay como repaso de lo que han visto en preintermedio. Uh -huh. Es como repaso de lo que han visto en preintermedio, pero van metiendo más temas nuevos y reforzando okay. todo lo del preintermedio. Así que pilas. Okay, teacher. Okay, so ordering a meal. Let's see, a little bit short sound, and let's listen. Salad? Yes, I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay. What kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a large iced tea, please. Eat again, please. Hello everyone, I want you to pay attention to the following conversation. We will now listen to the model verbs would and will. As always, try to practice the conversation with a friend. Listen and practice. May I take your order? Yes, I'd like the lamb kebabs. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes, I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay. What kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. 
And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a large iced tea, please. T-shirt, what is the meaning? Cap-ups. Okay, cap-ups son las brochetas. Eh, brochetas. Bueno, aquí les decimos pinchos. Mm. Ajá, son brochetas, son pinchos. Eh, se ponen así los pedacitos de carne en un palito. Y los van uh -huh. mezclando como carne, pedacito de cebolla, carne, tomate, cebolla, carne y así. Y luego, ay, qué Tortita, hambre. <ríe> Con tortitas, fritas, frijoles, refritos, aguacate. De lo que venden en el desvío de San Vicente. Oh, my God. Algo así, pero ajá, solo les falta que les metan entre tanta carnita, le ponen meter cebolla, chile verde, en tomate, tomate y que vaya cebolla, asadito también. Yeah. Teacher, por aquí dicen que sí. es carne de chucho, aquí en San Vicente. Pero rica. Vaya. Sí. <risa> yes. <risa> yes, it's delicious, Así but I, I don't know because, uh, you know, mine is powerful. And so yeah. <risa> I tried it once. I tried that meat and it was delicious, very delicious. But then I feel like a stomach cake. <laughs> But nothing else, just the stomach cake. But I think it was because I was thinking, what if it, what if we might eat in dog? <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh my stomach. <laughs> but I think I, I don't think it's like, or maybe I don't know. I don't want to think about that. <laughs> horse meat, teacher. Horse, yeah, maybe. Okay, so um, we have a. Um, a similar conversation here, as I said before, eh, les tomo screen del libro porque a veces en la plataforma se ve un poquito borroso los videos que vemos y algunas, por ejemplo, aquí no está la palabra de lamb kebabs, que las lamb kebabs es lo que estamos hablando. Kebabs son pinchos. En este caso, en la conversación decía de cordero, lamb kebabs. Okay. Uh, creo que es lo único. So, es la única palabrita que no está acá. But then the rest is the same. Uh, okay, let's read. Um, let's repeat. May I take your order? May I take, May I take, your, order? take your order? Take your order? Yes, I'd like the spicy fish and rice. Yes, yes. yes. I like the spicy fish and rice. rice. All, right. All right, and would you like a salad? Yes, I have a mixed green salad. Yes, yes. I have, I have a mixed green, green, green salad. salad. A mixed salad. green salad. Okay, what do you, what kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Oh, okay. What do you like? And blue cheese, please. Blue cheese, blue cheese, cheese please. Cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? And, and would you like, like anything, 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 to anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a large iced tea, please. Yes, yes. yes. I'd like, I'd like a large, large, large iced tea, tea please. please. Okay, so we're going to practice this conversation in groups. So I'm going to create this. Okay. Yeah, how many? Oh, I have eighteen people. Uh, for it's okay.
Hello everyone, I want you to pay attention to the following conversation. We will now listen to the modal verbs would and will. As always, try to practice the conversation with a friend. Listen and practice. May I take your order? Yes, I'd like the lamb kebabs. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes, I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay. What kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a large iced tea, please. Ok, ahora acá. Okay. Marta, comience usted. Sí, ahorita. May I take your order? Yes. I like the spicy fish and rice. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes. I have a mixed green salad. Okay, what kind of dressing will you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to, to drink? Yes, I'd like a large iced tea, please. Okay. Van compañeros. Eh, ok, comienzo yo, soy server. Ok, ahí está. Si, si digo algo mal, no me corrigen, porfa, porque no he estado entrando en muchas clases. Este, May, I take you order? Yes, I like the spicy fish and rice. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes, I have a mixed green salad. Ok. What king of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a large iced tea, please. Okay. Okay, solo en la palabra kind, compañero. Ahí donde dice, okay, what kind of dressing? Ah, de eh, K-I-N-D, ¿verdad? Sí, correcto. Ok, este, creo que todavía nos alcanza para otra ronda. Si quiere, combinamos. Vaya. Eh, bueno, ¿quién sería Cerver? Dele usted, Cerver. Ok. ¿May I take your order? Yes, I like the spicy fish and rice. All right, and would you like a salad? Yes, I have a mixed green salad. Okay, what kind of dressing would you like? 
We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to, to drink? Yes, I like a large iced tea, please. Okay. Ahora, Jose. Oh. Y Maria. Sí. I am server, Maria. May okay. I take your order? Yes, I like the spicy fish and rice. All right, uh, would you like a salad? Yes, I have a mixed green salad. Okay. Se me fue. <laughs> Aunque to, um, ajá, todavía tienen tiempo, da como, da un minuto para que termine me lo que están haciendo, pero es que salen espantados, le huyen a la práctica. <risa> o, o es cuando me meto a las secciones, quizás. <risa> no, es que sí, solo vio el, la, la pantalla y le dio el leave sí, breaking around. Sí, ya. Yeah. Okay, but yes. Okay, we can go back to the bueno. main section. Yeah, yeah. But let's see. Ya no nos alcanza para otra ronda. Okay. Okay, I'll see you there. Okay, now that we have practiced the conversations, we're going to uh, listen the video and study about the modal verbs and will and would for request. And with that, we will finish the section number three and then we will start the number four. Just let me see if I can share the screen. Okay, let's see, I'm still recording. Okay, so let's see. Oh, this is the last video. Would you like anything else? Yes, please. I nice to have you back in class. Please take notes on wood and will. Try to understand how they're being used. After the explanation, we have some questions for you. Please answer them on our discussion box. Modal verbs would and will for requests. What would you like? I'd like the lamb kebabs. I'll have a small salad. What kind of dressing would you like? I'd like blue cheese, please. I'll have vinaigrette. What would you like to drink? I'd like a nice tea. I'll have coffee. Would you like anything else? Yes, please. I'd like some water. No, thank you. That'll be all. Contractions. I'll equals I will. I'd equals I would. We presented would and will in a conversation and then on a previous chart. But now let's work on them. Using would to make requests. Would is used when we make requests in English. It is a more polite way to make your requests to someone, especially when you're not familiar with. We can use would directly at the beginning of the question. Would plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, would you like to drink tea? Or we can use it with a WH question word. WH question word plus would plus subject plus like plus infinitive verb plus complement plus question mark. Example, what would you like to eat for dessert? Also, in this opportunity, we're using would to answer questions. What would you like to drink? I would like a soft drink. 
or I'd like a soft drink. Did you notice the position of word in the answer? That's right, it goes exactly after the subject. How to answer using word? Subject plus word plus like plus compliment. Now let's pretend we're in a restaurant and you are the waiter. This is my response. I want you to think on the question. I like apple pie. I like coffee. Now it's my turn to ask you. Please respond using word. What would you like to eat? What would you like to have? Ice cream or chocolate cake? Okay, so uh, do you have any question about what you already listened in the video? Yes, teacher, me. Mm -hmm. Teacher, eh, cuando usamos esto es porque suena más educado cuando uno pregunta algo. Pero cuando yo digo, por ejemplo, do you like uh, drink something or do you like drink anything? Sound más, suena más fuerte o pesado, no sé. O es otra forma de poderle preguntar a alguien si quiere algo. Ok. Yeah, um, ok. Ok. Uh, So, you use, do you like, como para preguntar si algo le gusta a la persona. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you like, uh, por ejemplo, do you like uh, soda? Yes, I like. Pero eso es para preguntar sobre okay. gustos. Yes, te gusta tal cosa. Eh, pero si usted le quiere preguntar, ¿quieres comer algo? Es, do you I, want? Do you want? Yes. Es uh, otra estructura con el simple present. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, estamos utilizando el simple present, pero yes, um, do you want, es como para preguntarle a, a, a alguien con quien estemos familiarizado, ¿verdad? Un conocido, okay. un amigo, eh, do you want to eat something? Yeah. ¿Quieres comer algo? O do you want to order something to eat? Mm -hmm. um, But yes, uh, if you are in a formal environment, a, would you like to eat something? Would mm -hmm. you like to order something? It sounds, um, it's more polite and you can use it with people that you are not familiar with. This is, But, a, this is a clue. Yes, that is a, ah. a, a clue because if you are the waiter in a restaurant, you cannot uh, reach out the <laughs> customer and ask, do you want to order? <laughs> no, okay. Or, okay. no, okay. that. That is a complete, no, please don't. <laughs> okay, okay, I got it. Uh -huh. Any other question? No more questions? Teacher, in, in what, what good would you like? I like or I help? I like it for, for the gusto y, y por gustar, ¿verdad? Y I, I have es lo que tengo, lo que estoy ofreciendo. A very good question. So, when you are, at, at, this is the question, right? What would you like? And we have here two possible answers. You can say, I like fish and rice. Or you can say, I'll have a uh, small salad, for example. But you can say, I'd like, así como lo vemos aquí, I'd like the fish and rice, o podríamos decir, I'll have the fish and rice. Um, there is not like a big difference or what is uh, that I have to use this or this. No, cuando estamos respondiendo, uh, con, si nos preguntaron, ¿qué te gustaría? What would you like? Entonces yo puedo decir, me gustaría comer tal cosa o voy a comer tal cosa. Esa es la diferencia. Eh, mm. Eso es como, uh, me gustaría ordenar tal cosa. I would like. Siempre es más polite. Pero igual puedo decir, ah, comeré tal cosa. I have this. Uh -huh. ah, okay. de, ahí que dicen, de ahí que dicen, ah, I'm having lunch. I have, I have I'm having um, I'm having a hamburger, right? Ah, okay. It's a synonymous about it. 
Yes, ese, so it and have. You can use either or. Puede utilizar it or have cuando se trata de, de comer, ¿verdad? En, mm. en, en inglés, o so el I have no es como tengo. Porque si no lo traduzco, es, dice yo tendré. Tendré una ensalada pequeña. Sí, Ajá, entonces, exacto. yeah, that doesn't make uh, sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pero sí, como les digo, puedo decir, I like, me gustaría ordenar tal cosa, ¿ya? Yeah? Or you, I'll have, cualquiera de los dos. Solo este es como más informal. I'll have this, but that's, that's the only difference. Okay. And you can add, uh, yes, please, so like, sí, por favor, yes, please, I like some water. Or oh, I like to order this, I'd like to have this. Any other question before we move to the next slide? Yes, yeah, so how to, to make a difference between the contraction ID or I'll uh, it's for I will, but it's for I have to. No. Um so I'll, I'll, so the question is, um, the difference between the contraction, those... I'll, with I and D, D, is the same for I will and I have, is another, not in this life. Ah, okay. Let me stop sharing and... Let's see, see. So in this case, is I have, right? Is this one that you were D, asking? No, about? I have in pass. Okay. Was perfect. Okay, I had. Mm, this one is not. Uh, it doesn't have a short form in English. I had. Okay. I uh -huh. remember that. Mm -hmm. No, I remember that that the short form of uh, of I, I I have I have is I apostrophe D. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I remember that, but. Maybe informal writing, probably. Sí. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, with other I'd. pronoun, yes, teacher. I'd. I'd, I'll. Yes, it is. Uh, sí, hay una pequeña diferencia en pronunciación with will okay. and in the D. I'll, I'd. I'll, I'd. I'll, I'd. I'll, I'll. I'll. Mm -hmm. Teacher, tal vez la pregunta de Ricardo es como cuando contrae el, el pasado perfecto en los pronombres versus I will, que es igual. Sí, es igual, eh, pero no, si el contexto le dice en qué tiempo estamos hablando. Uh -huh. Sí, hay muchas cosas que son similares o iguales, pero lo que nos guía es, es el contexto. Uh -huh. Any I, other question? I, okay, so teacher, me, I have a quest question. Entonces, hay una oración que dice, I have a small salad. Eh, usado en ese contexto, se traduce como comeré una pequeña ensalada. Sí. Ok. Y otra pregunta. El wall siempre va a ir con like o se puede usar con otros verbos se puede usar con otros puede decir love uh -huh. I would love um, to do this I'd love to go I'd love to eat that I'd love to go oh. with you okay thanks thanks a lot You're more thank you welcome. yes any other question 
Okay, so we have this one. This is an exercise that we have here in which we're going to practice using those models. Um, so let's try to complete this conversation using models. So in the first one, the server asked what, and we have like to order. What do you think that let's complete this sentence? What would you like to order? What would you like to order? Uh -huh. What would you like to order? What would you like? Uh huh. So, and then the customer will answer. I, I have. I will. I will have. I will have. I will have. I will have. Yes, I will. I'll have the spicy chicken. Hmm. So you can go ahead and write the answers in your notebook, and then we're going to check if they are right. It's not necessary for you to write the complete conversation, just the answers. Okay. Now yet? One minute. Now yet. One minute. Two minutes. Okay. <laughs> What, what would you like to order? I will have the spicy chicken. Would you like rice or potato? I will like rice fruits. Okay, and would you like the drink? I will just have a glass of water. Would you like anything else? No. Is everybody ready? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to move and you will check your answers. Okay, so as you said before, in this, the customer asked her, I'll, I'll have the spiced chicken. Then, would, then I'd, 
Then I, good. Yeah. I'll, I'll like like, out, like I'd like go I'll. I'll. Were your answers correct? Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. So let's practice pronunciation. What would you like to order? What would, what would, you, would like you like to order? order? I'll have the spicy chicken. I'll, I'll have, I'll the, spicy have chicken. the spicy chicken. chicken. I'll have the spicy chicken. Would you like rice or potatoes? Would you like rice, rice, or, rice or, or potatoes? potatoes. Like rice, please. I like rice, please. I like rice, please. Okay, and what would you Wait a minute. Ah, I see. Okay. okay, and what would you like to. Anything, what, and would you like. No, yeah, well, what? Okay, and what would you like. No. Would you like. No. And would you like. 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 And And would you like. And would And would you like. I'll just have a glass of water. Would you like anything else? Would you like anything else? No, that'll be it for now. Thanks. Would you like dessert? Would you I like, like, like yes, I like ice cream. Yes, yes. yes. I, like I like ice cream. Ice cream. What flavor would you like? What, what flavor would you like? Would you like? Would you like? Mm. Mm. I'll have strawberry, please. I'll have mm. strawberry, please. Mm. Strawberry, please. Mm. Okay, questions about vocabulary here? Primera vez que veo that I'll... Yeah. That's only a problem. Yeah. That'll be. 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 Excellent. That'll be all for now. Thanks. That'll be all for now. That'll be all for now. Excuse me, teacher. Uh, what does it mean in Spanish? Eso no, sería dark. todo. No, eso sería todo por ahora. Gracias. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Any other no, question? Okay, so the this is the last exercise for section number three. Oh, we have one more, but we still have time to practice this conversation. So we're going to go ahead and give you uh, four minutes for you to practice in groups. And then we're going to move to the last one. And tomorrow we will continue with um, section number four. And let's see, vamos a uh, recreate. So you practice with different people. Okay, there you go. So who will start? Okay. I will be start. And okay. I am, 
Uh -huh. I am server and your customer. Okay, That's okay. Go ahead. What would you like to order? I'll have the spicy chicken. Uh, would you like rice or potatoes? I'd like rice, please. Okay, and would you like anything to drink? I'll just have a glass of water. Or would you like anything else? No. That'll be all for now. Thanks. Uh, okay, later. Uh, would you like dessert? Yes, I like ice cream. What flavor would you like? Mm, I'll, I'll have a strawberry, please. Okay. I'm server. I customer. Hey. What would you like to order? I have the spicy chicken. Would you like rice or potatoes? I'd like rice, please. Okay. And would you like anything to drink? I uh, just have a glass of water. Would you like anything else? Nothing will be all for now. Thanks. Would you like dessert? Yes, I like ice cream. What flavor would you like? Mm, I have some berry, please. Okay. I am server. I'm customer. Thank you. What would you like to order? I have the spicy chicken. Would you like rice or potatoes? I like rice, please. Okay. And would you like anything to drink? I'll just have a glass of water. Would you like anything else? No, that'll be all for now. Thanks. Do, would you like dessert? Yes, I like ice ice cream. What flavor would you like? Mm, I uh, I'll have a strawberry, please. Okay, and customer. I am Sermon. What would you like to order? I'll have the spicy chicken. Would you like rice or potatoes? I'd like rice, please. Okay, uh, would you like anything to drink? I'll, I'll just have a glass of water. Would you like anything else? No, that'll, that'll be all for now, thanks. Three, two, would you That's good that you practice. And uh, teacher, excuse me. Yes? Eh, no me queda claro el uso del will. Del will? Yes. Okay. Vamos a ver. Okay, I'll, I'll have. So, eh, puede usar cualquiera de las dos y no hay ninguna diferencia. Solo que si voy a usar el verbo like, entonces voy a usar I would, I would like. Y es mm -hmm. más formal pedir algo, ah, me gustaría tener eh, o me gustaría comer tal cosa, como estamos hablando de comida, I would like. Pero si uso el will, voy a usar el verbo have, I'll have, I will have. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Puede usar cualquiera de las dos. La diferencia la va a hacer el verbo y el que si usamos would, bueno, decimos el verbo, vamos a usar would y like. 
y es más formal. Uh -huh. Si uso will, lo voy a usar con have. I will have. Y es, es un más informal. Es como Pero informal, como más. El significado sería el mismo, como gustaría. Es lo mismo. Sí, ah, okay. es lo mismo. Solo es un poco más formal el I would. Y con I would usamos like. I would like. Si sure. uso will, digo have. I will have. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. Es correcto. Es correcto. Sí, solo que si lo cruzamos, sí estamos, eh, estamos mal, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Teacher, es correcto decir I would like to drink a soda o I would like drinking a soda. I would like to drink is the most appropriate. Both are correct, but I like drinking a soda. Yeah, that could be. Mm -hmm. okay. Puede ser cualquiera de los dos, pero igual, ¿verdad? No mezclarlo. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay. Any other question? Excuse me, teacher. Igual que en la pregunta. What would you like to eat or what would you like to have? Significan lo mismo. Mm -hmm. Yes. Teacher. Okay, yes. Pero para preguntar, noto que siempre se utiliza good. Eh, para preguntar si no se puede utilizar will, ¿verdad? Como what will you like? O what will... Bueno, sí, porque sería más informal. O se puede utilizar siempre con, con alguien que, que puede ser más familiar, más algún conocido. Preguntarle si, what will eh, you have en este caso? What will you have? What will you drink? Yes. Mm -hmm. Ok, thank you. Teacher, en la, última, en la última oración eliminamos el what, what good. Solamente will you like anything else? ¿Por qué quitamos el what? Es, vaya, con lo que me preguntó anterior, eh, es, es que este es como un, eh, ¿cómo decirlo? Es como una secuencia, vaya. Eh, estamos preguntando, what would you like? Es como porque estamos ofreciendo algo. Lo que preguntaba la compañera, sí, yo le pregunto, ¿qué vas a tomar? What would you drink? So, no le estoy ofreciendo, le estoy solo preguntando, ¿qué vas a tomar? No, so, cuando estamos haciendo un request, es estamos pidiendo información. What would you like to drink? Ok, so, es un request formal. Ahora, en la última usted me dice que se le ha omitido el what. Porque aquí ya le pregunto, eh, digamos, what would you like to drink? What would you like to order? Ok, ¿qué te gustaría ordenar? ¿Qué te gustaría tomar? Aquí le estoy preguntando, ¿le gustaría algo más? ¿Gustarías algo más? Would you like anything else? Entonces ahí ya no puedo poner el what. Es un complemento. ¿eh? Ajá, es, es como un, ajá, ya es como lo último. ¿Le gustaría algo más? Él preguntó, what would you like to order? Como comida, ¿ok? ¿Qué le gustaría tomar? What would you like to drink? Ya me dio esa información. Ahora quiero saber si hay algo más que necesite. Would you like anything else? Una porción okay. extra de tortilla o no sé. <ríe> ¿Qué más se le puede ocurrir? Entonces, por eso el what ya no va ahí. Okay, el postre, teacher, el postre. Ah, yes. Puede ser que... Uh -huh. Ajá, porque es, postre es, no es, toda es, la vida la gente pide, ¿verdad? Entonces, mejor es como... Hacer la pregunta como indirecta, ¿verdad? Would you like anything else? Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, any other question? What's the meaning of dressing? Aderezo. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Aderezo ranch, italiano, blue cheese. <laughs> <risa> mm, dressing o una vinagreta también es una un how do you pronounce vinagreta 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 ¿cuál es el blue cheese? aquí ¿cuál sería? o no tenemos de eso hay un aderezo que es blue cheese que se parece al ranch que siempre es blanquito 
pero ya, yeah, ajá, es, es bien pero similar sea, al ranch el sabor también. No lo había escuchado. Mm -hmm. It's not really common. The most common is the, the ranch. El and ranch. The Caesar yes. salad dressing. <laughs> Okay, so the last exercise, it was just a restaurant review. Este era ya como un poco más de, de práctica. What's the name of the restaurant? ¿Cómo hacer un review de un restaurante? En el review podríamos incluir the what's the name of the restaurant? When did you go there? What did you have? What did or you didn't like about it? Would you recommend it? Why or why not? Esto lo pueden hacer como un ejercicio adicional hoy que van a estar de vacaciones, ya solo nos queda mañana, si primero Dios y el tiempo lo permiten, ¿verdad? Ojalá que no llueva y tengamos la clase normal y no nos veamos el viernes. <ríe> sé que no quieren clases el viernes. So, nadie no, quiere. No, no, no. Ay, sí, no, vacaciones. No, Yeah, okay. So, y aquí tienen un ejemplo. Last week I had lunch at Luigi's, the new Italian restaurant in my neighborhood. I had a green salad and cheese pizza for dessert. I have a chocolate cake. The pizza was excellent, but the salad wasn't very good. The lettuce wasn't very fresh. The cake was rich and delicious. I would recommend this restaurant because the pizza is great and not very expensive. Pueden escribir algo similar sobre algún restaurante que hayan visitado recientemente, tomando esto como ejemplo. Ese ya es como por si se aburren en vacaciones. No creo que vayan a andar por acá y por allá porque está peligroso. <laughs> <laughs> resting and resting. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, for tomorrow we will start the section number four. Go to rest. We need it. Ya vieron que necesitamos descansar. Me, me trabaron las carretas en clase. Qué pena, niños. Ay, no. Ya me voy a dormir. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good